My thing is, even if I have to take a short-term temporary financial loss, the only thing to do is the right thing. In this video, I'll be talking about how to improve your photo studio's customer experience. All right, y'all, it is so important to have a well thought out customer experience. Don't be someone that simply provides a space to shoot at and that's it. Go above and beyond for your customers. They'll remember that, they'll wanna come back, and they'll feel confident referring their friends. People just want a smooth and reliable experience. And when it comes to the studio business and there being plenty of options to choose from, you want all of the advantages in your favor. And that is why it is so important to go above and beyond for your clients. But that doesn't always mean big and extravagant. It's all in the little details. The things that are so small that they don't even expect you to have thought of it. That is what makes the difference between you and any other studio. By not skipping the little things and not cheaping out on these little things, you're letting them know that you actually care about their experience. So let's dive into a couple of tips that you can implement into your future current studio. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to this channel. It would absolutely mean the world to me. Okay, now before I give you very specific advice, I would recommend you do some market research. Go to Peerspace, look at some listings and read the reviews. Anything that their customers are complaining about make sure you take care of. Anything that their customers speak highly about, make sure you have those as well. Go through different listings, read reviews, and just get a sense of what your ideal customer is looking for. Also, talk to some of your creative peers, such as directors, photographers, models, fashion designers, music artists, and ask them what they're looking for when they go to book a studio. All right, now the biggest piece of advice that I can give, I'm just gonna give it to you straight off the bat, and that is to be as human as possible with your interactions. State your rules and fees far in advance so that they're aware and they don't have any surprises. If they're running you know, 10 minutes late because of something important they had to take care of, you know, honor them that time at the end of their booking. And in exchange, just ask them to leave you, you know, a nice review. If for whatever reason they had an honestly really bad experience working at your studio, for whatever reason, offer them a discount on their next booking or even go as far as refunding them. My thing is, even if I have to take a short-term temporary financial loss, the only thing to do is the right thing. It says a lot about you as a business owner and as a person if you can come from a place of understanding and not let all of your decisions be guided by money. The beautiful thing about owning a studio is that you can meet really cool people and you can build relationships that hopefully uh, last a very long time. The creative world is a small one and word spreads fast, so just make sure you're always doing good business and being as human as possible within your interactions. All right, next, kind of going off of the last one is make sure your photos accurately represent your space. Give people a 360 degree view of what it actually looks like. That way there are no surprises once they actually get there. You can use, you know, a wide angle lens to make sure you're capturing the full essence of the space, but don't be using something like a, you know, 10 millimeter lens that makes the space look gigantic when in reality it's actually not. What I like to do is have photos with the house lights on and then also photos with the house lights off and the production lights on. That way you can show them what the space actually looks like in different scenarios. If you have multiple sets in your studio, don't show just the sets. You wanna zoom out and show the entire layout of your space. Don't be catfishing your potential clients. All right, the next thing to enhance your studio's customer experience is to always have the basic amenities. This includes a vanity mirror, a full body mirror, a clothing rack and hangers, a folding table and chairs, maybe a steamer, a lint roller, a small couch and coffee table for them to lounge, and a mini fridge with cold water. Or you can have one of those water gallon things where you have a cup and people can fill it up. Regardless of how you have it, make sure you have access to cold water. And again, don't cheap out on these basic amenities, guys, like a couple hundred bucks, you know, enhances your customer's experience so much. They don't have to drag folding chairs and tables and mirrors and clothing racks and all that up into your space. Like just have it there ready for them, ready to rock. All right, this next one is like super, super important to me. And that is to take it a step beyond and make your bathroom look nice. I'm telling y'all, take some time and money and put some love into it. Just think about when you go to a restaurant, like whether the bathroom is nice or not kind of determines how you feel about that restaurant. So just think of having a nice restroom as the cherry on top to an already beautiful space. Most photo studios do not have nice bathrooms whatsoever. So again, this is another competitive advantage that you can easily have. In the bathroom at my studio, we supply mints, feminine products, 
hairspray, hand sanitizer, body lotion, hair ties, things like that. Anything that somebody might need, we have it for them, ready to go. And we've literally had people post our bathroom on their Instagram story, just raving about how much they appreciated it. And yes, people have actually mentioned it in their peer space reviews about us. So the extra time and money that you put into making your bathroom look nice will not go unnoticed. Another way to enhance the experience is to have basic lighting and equipment available on site for free. I know that might sound crazy, but I'm telling y'all, you don't have to go crazy. Just have a couple of, you know, constant LED lights, maybe a couple of photography strobes, some C-stands, sandbags, uh, reflectors, V-flats. Just choose a couple of things. Again, you don't have to go crazy right off the bat. This is not required to open a photo studio. You can always, you know, um, add to it as time goes on and you can reinvest your profits to have more equipment and you can charge for your equipment, which I'll get into after this. But have at least some of the basics already available on site for free two to three lights is oftentimes all your client needs so if you can make it easy for them and just supply those you increase your odds of getting their business i have two cheap godox led lights at my studio and nobody has ever complained about us needing to supply more lighting they just appreciate that we even have that Sometimes they do ask if we have strobes though, so that is something that we'll be looking into and I highly recommend you picking up a few of those as well. All right, next is having a nice selection of paid premium add-ons. These can include more powerful lights, lens filters, a fog machine, seamless backdrops, and services such as behind the scenes coverage, photography packages, and music video packages. Honestly, at my studio, our most popular items are the fog machine, which we charge $55 to rent, and our prism lens effects filters, which we charge $15 to rent each. So those filters have definitely, you know, paid for themselves multiple times over already. Now, this is not at all necessary to open a space. So don't let not having the budget to purchase $2,000 lights hold you back from starting. You can always reinvest your profits later and add more premium equipment as time goes on. People don't expect this. It's just another nice to have. You want to keep your initial investment as low as possible and just put as much of it into your space as possible. All right, this next one is super important and that is if you have a studio rep on site or you're on site make sure you guys have your own dedicated space where you are out of the way of your customers you don't want to be hovering around them being too noisy or making them feel uncomfortable when they book your space they kind of expect just to have the space to themselves so make sure you respect that obviously let them know that you know you're here if they need anything but don't just be hovering around. All right, if you already have a space, these next few things are kind of hard to change, so hopefully you already have a few of them, but if you're looking to you know, start your first studio or another studio, here are some things that you need to consider. You wanna make sure you have easy parking, easy access, 24 seven elevator access, maybe a freight elevator, air conditioning, it's in a safe area, uh, natural light if your vibe requires it, and just make sure it feels good. You know, feel the vibes out. If, if something doesn't feel right or the building you're in just doesn't feel right, like just get in tune with that and make sure you're choosing a location that feels safe, welcoming, and uh, inspirational for whoever might be in there. All right, this one is the most simple, but one of the most important, and that is to keep your space clean and well-maintained. You wanna make sure that each customer has a consistent experience. So you wanna figure out your system for making sure your studio is clean and maintained, whether that's you going back and forth between bookings, or you hire somebody to come in during, before, or after bookings. Just make sure that your space is always consistent and everybody that pays their money to be there has a good time. If I were to leave you with anything, you know, aside from this, it would be to actually take some time to write and design what you want your ideal customer experience to look like. And that includes before, during, and after. Before they're booking, after they book your space, what happens? Do you send them a nice welcome message? You send them a liability waiver? You send them rules and fees and hey, here's my number if you need anything. And what about during? Do you have a location rep on site? Is your bathroom clean? Do you have basic amenities? Um, just think about what you want your experience to look like while they're actually at the studio. And then after, after the booking, do you check in with them? 
you know, say, hey, how did everything go? Do you have any feedback? Is there anything we can improve on? So yeah, before, during, and after. Take some time to write down and design what you want that experience to look like. That's all for today. I hope this was helpful. And I'm always here if y'all have any questions. Peace.